Now that the modeling is finished, it's time to prepare our model for texturing. Select the main hair object, hit Ctrl I to invert selection, and hide with H. Disable backface culling. This process is called UV unwrapping. We're attempting to cut up our objects into islands that will lay flat on a texture without too much distortion. We're going to select edges and mark seams, which will indicate where the cuts are. Unwrapping can be done in many different ways, so you can follow along and mark what I do, or you can do it a different way. It's fine, my feelings won't be hurt. This edge, which is already marked as sharp, is also going to be marked as a seam. The openings where the other hair strands connect don't really need a mark, but I marked them in case I joined the objects together later. Switch this bottom panel to the UV editor. Once it's all cut up, select all, hit U, choose unwrap. Your cut up mesh will be arranged down here. There's an option that'll show you how stretched your textures will be on your model. It seems to get moved around every Blender build. But as of 2.91, if you click this little overlays drop down menu in the menu bar of the UV editor, you can choose to display stretch. Dark blue means no stretching. Maximum stretching is probably red. Yeah, I've never seen it worse than yellow, even when trying to mess up my stretching. All right, next object, Alt H to unhide everything, turn off the light plane, select the next hair object and tab into edit mode. Start marking seams. Select all and hit U to unwrap when you think the seams are good. There seems to be an issue. Huh? Se seems? No. What? Some of my islands are overlapping, which is a bit of a no-no if we want to texture them without using the same image in those areas. Overlapping is fine if the objects use the same texture underneath, but I want to bake and paint on details so this will cause some issues for us. Mark this edge as well. Select all. Unwrap again. Perfect. Unhide all, and hide the light. This time turn off the viewport display of the light, so that it won't keep popping up in our way. Keep unwrapping objects. Here's kind of a weird one. I have no idea what this face is. Apparently I got excited and made some extra faces in here. Luckily the UV map showed me something was wrong. So I just deleted the extra faces. I don't know where those faces came from. I noticed a couple things I want to fix real quick. I'm planning on using a single texture for these three hair objects. So I want to unwrap them into the same UV map. To do this, shift select all three hair objects in object mode, tab into edit mode, and select all. Our UVs are a mess, so hit U and choose unwrap again. Look how nice it looks. Continue unwrapping. Keep working your way through each object unwrapping.
For the inner mouth object, I think we can just go into top ortho view, hit U and choose project from view as the unwrap method. And the same with the teeth in side view. To unwrap the tongue, use project from view and top view as well. I'm going to go through and hide everything that's unwrapped. I accidentally moved my ribbon, so be careful not to do that while selecting through. As you're unwrapping, it can help to hide things in edit mode to get stuff out of your way. For this object, select all, go into the select dropdown, and choose select boundary loops. Then mark the boundary loops as seams. Do the same with this object. We don't need these interfaces, so it's safe to delete them. Same thing here, just delete these faces. Hold shift while alt selecting to select all of these edges. The top and bottom of my initial object that I arrayed must not have been completely flat, so there's tiny little gaps on the back side. So select these vertices and merge at center. Do this for each of the gaps.
Now we're good to unwrap. Keep unwrapping stuff. I'm going to mark her dress edge as a seam, so that I can separate the dress colored islands from the skin colored ones. Create a seam around the upper half of her legs. Sometimes turning off the mirror modifier can be helpful so nothing's in the way. Mark the sharp edges as seams on her shoes. Or boots. I suppose they're boots. And maybe an edge down the back. Just a few more objects to unwrap. Holding control while selecting two edges, faces, or vertices will pick the shortest path between the two. This can be really helpful while trying to mark edges as seams. Create an edge here with J and mark it as a seam. Separate her fingernails from her hands with seams. Also mark this final edge if you don't like this big old hand blob. Holy cow, look at this UV map. It's a total mess. Let's fix that. 
Turn back on any mirror modifier visibility you disabled. Select all in object mode and tab into edit mode. With everything selected in edit mode, and you're sure no objects are hidden, hit U and unwrap. And there we have it. We'll organize our UVs into groups when we texture.